For all of us here at Nesson, I'm Tom Karen. Let's look back at the best moments of the two days of this amazing fundraiser. It doesn't just affect the patient. It affects every member of their family and their close friends. It uh, strains, it has puts financial strains on people, it puts emotional strains on people, it disrupts your life. Your life is going forward in a line and suddenly you're turning left. And our goal and our goal together is to get it back online. And the doctors, the doctors are doing that. We're making strides, we're making strides on these treatments. What's going to happen in 30 years from now if people, you know, donate for this research? Because as you said, you know, you don't know what dollar really does Your happen. dollar. Yes. Your, do your yes, dollar right absolutely. now can uh, can totally change somebody's life. This is a, two of the most important days of the year. I uh, really appreciate all the support of the station and Nesson and everyone who's called in so far to donate. Just a special time and it really puts everything in perspective for all of us. And it was like a jigsaw puzzle without having really a reference on how to put the pieces together. Fortunately, I had a team of doctors at Dana Farber that has, that has helped so much with that. I don't know, you just gotta keep moving, keep fighting and stuff like that. And uh, that's what I've tried to like, you know, show to other people and other cancer survivors is, you know, it's not the end. Like, once it's over, you got to keep going, you know what I mean, so. Cancer with one of your children, I would have to believe, is one of the most personal and profoundly private and difficult things you could ever possibly go through. And, um, and, and this particular event gives voice to a lot of the families and a lot of the kids. It's just the differentiation of the care team. They really care about you, your family, navigating through the course of treatment. And Kim has really been my rock, my friend. You know, she's somebody that made me really have optimism during a really difficult time. So that was just to me very special. You see the connections that they make this evening as we train. They continue to visit throughout the year. They stop over the hospital and what it means to the patients and the families, but also you can tell the players are happy to do whatever they can to try to help. There's a nurse there, a physician's assistant, there's volunteers, our wonderful volunteers, social services, and that they're surrounded by a family, by a team. The uh, effort that goes into this is just utterly remarkable. I've been very fortunate with the people that I work with, but, uh, you know, Sean, Sean has a special place in my heart. He knows it. I know it. I know what he did for me. And, um, you know, I, I, I never forget that. I, I, nev I never forget it. And um, just to have him on the phone right now kind of brings, <laughs> almost brings tears to my eyes because, you know, I, he really does mean that much to me. My goal is to be here for them. And, and, and you know, I'm not going to lie, there's still good days and, and bad days. And sometimes on the bad days, he may come in and say, Dad, let's go outside and shoot some hoops. And I'll be right there behind them. The community around each one of those kids that's what the money's for. The money is, is to make sure that, that kids and anyone battling cancer can experience what I'm experiencing. You know, one thing that is synonymous with the Red Sox uh, is how much they give back. And Jimmy Fund is like the first thing that you hear that is synonymous with the brand, uh, how much uh, the people in New England on all around the world collaborate uh, for this great cause. All of a sudden, all at once, the whole crowd turned and roared, waving. And that was probably one of the first biggest emotional moments that my wife Val and I had that, wow, we're not in this alone. You're just surrounded by love. And when you're dealing with such a crisis in your life, you know, you just, that makes such a difference. There's nobody that hasn't been touched by this. And, and the Jimmy Fund has done so much to help. And hopefully one day we won't have to have this. We couldn't thank Boston Children's and Dan Farber enough like they're they're so amazing, and and we, I have I have my life still because of them. Every person that I've ever come into contact with that is wrestling or fighting cancer has been uplifted by people in uniform, athletes, um, and celebrities. So it's our responsibility to 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 find a way to make an impact. The Jimmy Fund has historically done a tremendous job in Boston because of days like this where he's doing great and he's got to meet the Red Sox players and we get to go to the Red Sox game. It's just things kind of take our mind off of it yeah. and um, just able to enjoy this crazy guy over here. <laughs> yeah. If you have that feeling when you're going to the doctors to get chemotherapy pumped through you, you're in a good spot. Um, yeah, we couldn't be luckier to be here in Boston. Yeah, the nurses sure. and doctors are just amazing. Sure. As soon as I walked into that place, I felt like I was home. The opportunity to, to do something like this where the work that you're doing 
the work that the Jimmy Fund is doing and to raise money to continue to enhance cancer research is something that's a no-brainer, I think, from all of our standpoints. This is what we do here. You know, there's something special about this place. And uh, for how tough it is, you know, I call it a madness, you know, Boston, but, you know, we, we have great people here. You're improving the quality of the life um, for so many people in this area. It's, um, you know, I, I really respect and, and appreciate what you're doing for them. I'm glad to be a part of this. Everyone is just so friendly and kind and positive there. I just feel like um, there's no other option but to beat this, and I know I will be cured. Ben, we're going to let you finish. Look into that camera on the right. Tell people why the money's important, why they should pick up the phone and make a pledge. The money's important because the people are amazing at the Jimmy Fund and at Children's, and I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for Rhythm. So please, please donate, uh, and have a great day.